improv. This was interesting. You said to me that uh, when you got there, there was a much different attitude towards women uh, that you had experienced in Cleveland. Yeah. Um, well, that I had experienced in the second city of Cleveland. The, right. I improvised with a group of guys before that who were wonderful to me. But I just thought, like, at this level, guys couldn't be cool to women. Um, and then I moved here, and, like, being put on that Herald team and then being put in my touring company. Because my, well, I mean, my touring company was also three people from my <laughs> Herald team. So it was Hans, Arch, and Andy. And then I was like, oh, guys can support women. Like, they're not threatened. They weren't threatened by us here. Which is super cool. What was going on, you think, in Second City Cleveland that they had that attitude? I think it was a lot of people, again, not being the best versions of themselves and not realizing, like, we're all on an even playing field here. So, like, I was 22, and some of them were in their mid to late 30s. And so some of them were like, well, obviously, I'm, I have more experience than you, I'm better than you, blah, blah, blah. Whereas I started and I was like, this is square one for all of us. We're all learning this. Um, and Colleen was the same way. So we, we came in very much like, we're a team. And other people came in very much like, we're better than you. And I think that was ultimately a detriment. Now, are you always that forgiving? Like, I love to hold on to resentments and get bitter. <laughs> and stuff like that. But you were like, oh, they, were, they weren't just a good version of themselves. Um, it took a long time. It took a long time. You know, we were very hurt. But how do, how do you get through that? Um, did you like therapy or meditate or anything like that? I you... did not. I did not. Um, I just kept performing. I just kept working. Our attitude was very much like, oh, you think you're better than us at this? Okay, well, we'll show you. We'll just keep working and time will tell. And, I mean, I'm so famous. <laughs> so <laughs> I guess it has told. Improv. I know a lot more about you than someone that I would date. I, I know it takes you 20 minutes to take a shower. I know that you dry off from your feet all the way up. Why do you know that one? <laughs> Why do you know that one? Because I drilled a hole in the wall and I could look at it. Oh my god, David. That's love. That's <laughs> love. <laughs> You that, don't think it's creepy. That is you being a stone cold perk. <laughs> that is not love. I'm glad we're getting this out before we get married. <laughs>